Hello my friends, welcome back to another video. It has been quite a while. I apologize, you're in my cabinet in my bathroom right now. I'm getting ready, but I have a busy day. It is Saturday, so I thought, well, why don't I just put you in here and while I'm getting ready, I can talk to you instead of having to do it all when I'm done. So I'm gonna use this, I don't know what it, I don't have my glasses on. It's this like curler. Mar Madison had, this is hers, and she said she hardly ever uses it, so I asked her if I could borrow it and she's like yeah you can just keep it I don't use it so I've been um using it some lately now that my hair is getting longer it's kind of um, I'm like not a professional so <laughs> but it just gives my hair like some wave and I like to use it on days when it's kind of like humid and rainy and it's supposed to start raining later so I just I'm gonna use this and give my hair a little bit of wave because it's gonna naturally get that way anyway once it starts to rain so but anyways, welcome back. I apologize, it's been a while since I posted, but if you saw my community post or if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you don't you don't know that my sweet um, Claire Bear passed away the day before Thanksgiving. It was, um, we had to have her put to sleep, it was my fear. <laughs> But she told me it was time. It, it, I, I can't talk a lot about it because I'm still super emotional. And I know for those people that don't own pets, you probably don't quite understand and that's totally understandable. But she was very special to me and she came into my life right after I'd lost a baby and we bonded and she was just my baby and it was very difficult. So um, I can't go into details because it's too hard, but she passed away on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, and um, we buried her in the backyard. And in the spring, I'm gonna like plant some flowers. I'm gonna get like a pretty little marker for her grave and all that. And I imagine we'll put other animals there in the future, which makes me sad. But <laughs> um, yeah, we don't. We just kind of started a little area along the back of our yard to bury the animals. So she's back there. I can see her from the door, so I tell her good morning and I tell her good night and all those things. And it's been hard, really hard. Um, and then also we've had like two days ago, my mom had to put her cat to sleep. My my battery's flashing. I'm gonna change battery real quick. Okay, new battery. So my mom has a cat that's 12. Her name's Daisy, and she found out. Kind of around the same time I found out that Claire had cancer, she found out Daisy had cancer. And let me shut this door. So she's been um, working with the vet and we have the same vet and trying, she was gonna actually have surgery, but she took a turn for the worse and she took her in and the cancer had spread to her lungs she was having trouble breathing and she had some fluid around her heart and it was time to put her to sleep too. So my mom just had to do that a week after I lost Claire. And my mom is super, super like ultimate pet lover. Lover, like when I put Claire down, she, you know, really felt it too and, you know, mourned it too. So this has been hard for her. She had to put her sweet Daisy down and Daisy was only 12, so you know, kind of not that old, but it doesn't matter what age they are, it's awful. And so I wanted to say thank you. I kind of messed this up. I just wanted to say thank you when I post posted about her, just like so many of y'all, so, so many just like saying I'm praying for you or I'm so sorry. And you know, sometimes you just need to shut your computer. You just, you just don't need all the, the voices, but I really like in, enjoyed reading all that. And so many of you just kind of like identified because you had lost a pet. Not that I want anybody to feel that pain, but it just kind of makes you feel like you're not alone and you've seen people go through it and they survived. And it just gives you this like feeling of, okay, it's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. And because in those first days you don't feel that way, you know, you feel so bad, but I just was reading all your comments and I just couldn't really I was just so grateful. I was just so grateful for all of y'all and just your kindness. Your kindness and on Instagram and on YouTube and then I would get like DMs from people just saying I'm I'm praying for you and 
it was just really sweet and I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart it meant so much but for my mental health I just needed to put my camera away I just put it in a drawer and I have not picked it up in almost two weeks and I knew that like I was just gonna give myself grace and I knew that y'all would understand and so I had already pre-filmed a video for a company and I had to get that one out so I did post that earlier this week but um, I haven't done anything since then so um let me unplug this anyways um, it is Saturday. We've had like the, it's just been such a busy time. I ha, um, let's see, Elena and Andrew went to Italy and we had to cat sit or yeah, watch their cat. And then Madison and Jordan went away for a week to visit his family. So we had to watch her cat. And then, um, I was just helping my mom, just kind of like taking her to the uh, vet and just like helping her. I'm always always busy with my mom and then my sister just got here with her whole family from the Bahamas and they're gonna be here through Christmas through New Year's and so like things are getting really busy and then there's been sickness going around and obviously normal life going around so things have been very busy and I'm trying to Thanksgiving kind of just because of everything with Claire I kind of waited I, I wasn't like into Thanksgiving I didn't so I kind of let everything wait to the last minute and I literally had to go to the grocery store um, the night we had her put to sleep I had to still grocery shop for Thanksgiving and I had people offering to do it which was so sweet but I just I just did it myself and then of course cooked all of Thanksgiving and I had a lot of help from my family they were so sweet to bring things and help but and it also kind of kept my mind off of everything but Thanksgiving was hard Thanksgiving was hard, and then Mary and I, right after Thanksgiving, we celebrated our 28th wedding anniversary, so we went away for a couple days for that, and, you know, things have not slowed down. I haven't been on YouTube, but things have not slowed down, so I'm going to move you over a little bit so you can see. I hope I'm not boring you. Uh, anyway, I'm back, and this weekend, I, I need to go grocery shopping really badly, so Mary and I, he's getting a haircut right now, and then... Uh, we're gonna go get groceries go to Sam's go to Walmart I'm doing really good with Christmas because I don't want everything to wait till the last minute so I've been you know this past week I've planned all my Christmas lists and I've done the online shopping and the store shopping and trying to get ahead of myself because I really want to sort of just take things as they come and enjoy the season and not just be rushed rush rushed so yeah, I feel good about it. So I'm going to grab a few things today, hopefully knock a few things more off my list. And we'll see what the weekend brings. My, my sister's in town, so I don't know, you know, if we have any plans. Last night, um, Liberty University had their championship game and they won. So everybody was at that. I didn't go. I stayed home and talked with my sister, but they won. It was amazing. So it was lots of celebrating today. Um, so that's fun. But anyway. I'm going to finish getting ready and then probably pick my camera. It might take you with me to the store. I don't know. Um, maybe I'll just do a haul when we get home. But thank you for your patience with me not posting videos. <laughs> sometimes sometimes life is hard and, you know, we all know. So My favorite perfume is my, for this time of year, for winter, is my Ambry Cherry. Because I wore this last year. At Christmas time, it just reminds me of Christmas. It smells so good. Um, I'm going to make my bed. I'm waiting for Mary to get home, so I'm going to make my bed. Finalize my grocery list. I need to make sure I've got everything on that. See what else I can. Oh, I need to throw some laundry and I have a mountain of laundry. <laughs> This is a blanket that Claire was using for a while. She loved to lay on it, so I just been it's just been in here and it kind of like feels like her when I when I pet it. It kind of, you know, I've just been keeping it close by. Eventually I'm going to have to wash it and put it away, but it's just kind of comforted me. Um also these pillows 
the red is kind of clashing and kind of, I mean, it definitely looks more red and on camera. It's weird. It does not look this red as you're seeing it on camera in person, totally different, <laughs> but I'm not so sure I love them with it, but whatever, they're going to go there for now. And also I just have to keep this here because the dogs and, you know, actually sometimes I do this because I like to see the red. Also, I love this bedspread and I am not ready to put it up once Christmas is over. I think I'm going to keep it for Valentine's, you know, just because it's an excuse to keep it out. It's so cozy. I just love it. Mary does too. So I printed out some pictures of Claire and I put this little picture of her, which I printed out like five or six and I loved this one just because she, this is how she looked at the end. And so this is how I wanted to, you know, remember the most is how she was at the end i have some really pretty pictures of her but i just loved this one this was when she was just a little sweet sweet little old lady and i just uh it's it's been hard like i kind of miss like the older sweet version of her because she was sassy she was very sassy in her younger years <laughs> but always so 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 sweet and i got this adorable little ornament at hobby lobby it's in the christmas crafts and it was five dollars but it was half off so it's 250 and it said in loving memory, so I wrote the 2023 and then her name. And put that little picture, I love that picture of her. That was taken like right after we found out she was sick and she was outside. It's just the, <laughs> the cutest. She looks like she's angry, but she's not. That's just her face. And it's so, so, so sweet. So she's on our tree by our little angel for our baby that we lost. We lost a baby right before we got her. And so, you know, they, she, she bonded to me really quickly because I was going through a lot. And also, look at that little baby. Isn't that the cutest? They brought me this on um, Thanksgiving. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? I love it. Also, the the chair saga, the living room furniture saga continues. I found, I found a new chair. Um, so here's my old chair, and I have post I have posted this on Facebook Marketplace. So we'll see if we can sell that soon. And I'm also going to sell the gray cover that I had for it. If it, if I mean, I'm just going to give it to them if anybody wants it. But I found this yesterday and it's green actually so I was just not I wasn't gonna get gray because I, I was afraid it would clash with the gray whatever I found it's not gonna be that exact shade so this is like a greenish gray and it's it's an actual rocking chair for like a child's nursery that's where it was used but it's basically brand new she hardly used it and I found it on Facebook marketplace yesterday and it's not nearly as comfortable as that so i'm probably not going to be sitting there doing like my work and stuff i've been sitting here um which is super comfortable but i really want to have i wanted something that rocked or swiveled because of paisley and you know future grandbabies it's just nice to have a rocking chair and also i want to have the extra seating so i want to maybe get like a floor lamp and put right here with that's like the wooden ones but they're expensive so maybe one day i'll do that just to have because I moved my lamp off of that table because it's just too much it took up too much space I need to put my computer there and I have like all my work stuff down there and I need to grab that constantly so it's just taking up too much room so I might get a floor lamp eventually but I love that chair it's beautiful it's I love the way that it looks but it's not the softest I think it needs to be broken in some and then I cut like a little what did I do I took open the cushion and was able to get a little swatch of the fabric and I cut that and I did the same thing for the couch and I'm going to take them to Hobby Lobby and see if I can't find something that kind of matches that I can recover this with because this is not going anywhere because I love it and it's useful and very nice when we have people over you can put your feet on it so but the greens don't go together and so you know we'll figure it out this does not look right over here either because it's way shorter so anyway it continues we'll get it we'll get it worked out um i was sitting over here doing some stuff this morning but i need to fix this up throw some laundry in and then we gotta go
the uh, Sam's parking lot is absolutely packed. I knew coming on a Saturday at Christmas time it was going to be bad, but I told him we have to pack our patients. Um, Marion just got a haircut. It looks so good. So good. I love that, like, fresh haircut. Oh, those are all pickup. Um, a fresh haircut. It's my favorite. I wish he could cut it, like, every week. <laughs> anyway, um, this is going to be probably interesting. We're going to run into Sam's and grab some lunch, but we're probably going to have to eat it, like, walking around because I highly doubt there will be a little table available. All right. It's about... Three or four hours later, we went to um, Sam's, Aldi, Target, Walmart, and we're going to stop at Hobby Lobby, and then we're going to go home, and I'm going to unload all these groceries, and I'll give you my two-week meal plan, and obviously grocery haul, so. Okay, we're home. I got all my groceries um, unloaded. That was a chore. <laughs> it was like you know, a few Saturdays before Christmas, you can imagine. And Hobby Lobby, I was shocked. But every, every store was. <laughs> Somebody just went. Okay, that was my sister and my niece. My niece just flew in last night, I think, or yesterday from the Bahamas. And it's a little crazy, <laughs> crazy around here. So this is my two week meal plan. And like I said, we have family in town, so I don't know, uh, you know, there's gonna be times when we probably will go out to eat or maybe like go, to a different house and eat. So I, I think I have like maybe 10 meals planned out. Um, I have a couple recipes I think I'm gonna share. This one Mexican soup that I found on Pinterest that looks really good and I've been wanting to make that for a while. So we're gonna have that. Cheddar Bay chicken, well, I don't know what it's called, but I made it before and I shared the recipe. You put the Cheddar Bay biscuit dough on top of like a, it's almost like chicken and dumplings. So good. We're gonna have pizza one night, like homemade pizzas, tacos, sloppy joes, um, that potato, crock pot potato with the beef and cheese that I showed y'all in a recent video. I think it was my last video. That was so good. I'm going to make that again. We'll have bacon, lettuce, tomato sandwiches, taco soup, and then I love pintos and cornbread and I never make it. So, cause nobody will eat it in my family except me, but I'm going to make it. I saw someone make a video about it and it looks so good. So I'm going to do that. That would be so good on a cold night. Some homemade cornbread and Pinto beans, and then we'll ha I have like a bunch of frozen burgers in the freezer, so we'll have hamburgers one night. So let me show you what I got. It's all from Sam's and Walmart, and I got a couple things at Hobby Lobby I'll show you. All right, so it is 5.30. I gotta th think about dinner as soon as I get all this stuff put away. I've got some eggs, some bread, some hamburger buns. I just got the, one the ones that were the least expensive that were not hard, so it's kind of crazy expensive everything is crazy expensive I got some sausage I'm gonna do put this on the pizza that I make I got some lunch meat turkey bacon and regular bacon some chicken and then the three three packs of beef what do you need my sweetheart just a minute okay we got some butter four things of cheddar cheese I, I don't get the big ones because when you open them they tend to go bad faster so I just got four of those I got the uh, Jackson's favorite chicken tenders, some fig bars, two things of cornbread. I'm gonna do like a one for me with the green chilies and cheddar cheese. And then I'll just do a plain one for Jackson. Mary doesn't like cornbread and he doesn't like beans. So yeah, oh goodness, hope that's not open. Uh, I got some of these candy canes cause Jackson loves them and I wanna crush them up and put them on my hot chocolate. I've been craving peppermint lately, I don't know why. Oh, I got some angel hair pasta, some elbows, and some rotini. Oh, I said pizza. Actually, we're going to have pizza pasta is what it's going to be. I changed my mind. So we're going to have that with like pizza sauce and pizza toppings. Then I got a big giant box of life, some Pop-Tarts from Marion, and Cracker Barrel macaroni and cheese, some of Jackson's little drink pouches, Marion's tuna. He really loves these. Four lunches with a little pack of crackers my pinto beans and I got these for the cornbread the chilies I got some I'm gonna make taco soup I also need some ranch style beans but they didn't have any at Walmart so I have to go to Kroger but I got some of the this is like Robtel some green beans evaporated milk tricolor beans petite diced tomatoes a can of corn all that is for my uh, taco soup and then a couple of these cans of peas our favorite some more olive oil. I love the Classico pizza sauce, so I'm gonna try this spaghetti sauce. I don't think I've ever tried it, but I love that Classico pizza sauce. It is so, so good. So we'll try that. And then I got some ketchup, 
Then I got some white onions, yellow onion, tomato, bell pepper, some green onions and cilantro, some bananas, some apples, potatoes, and a half gallon of milk. This is the first um, grocery haul, grocery trip that I've made when my Claire Bear is not here and she's not laying on my bag. She always left. <laughs> Chloe, I'm trying to talk. You're so loud. It's my Coco. She's doing good. She misses Mama, but she's doing good. And she's getting so many, so many snuggles. Yes, I know. Let me finish real quick. These are some non-food things. I got this. I thought that'd be fun for Christmas Eve. We have a big, um, we have the kids over and we just do a lot of fun things on Christmas Eve. So I got that. I thought it'd be fun and I can reuse it. And then I got napkins. Those are, those are for Christmas. I got some Carmex because everyone's needing that this time of year. Some paper plates, some shampoo, toilet bowl cleaner, uh, scent beads, and this is just bathroom cleaner and some hand soap. And then I got paper towels, and Marion said he needed like cheap paper towels for something. I don't know, this or some, something he's doing. Toilet paper and a big old giant bag of cereal. And then over here is my cat and dog food that I always get. And the keeper of the water bottles, Clyde. And some bubbly over there for Marion. And then this is my Sam's haul. We got tissues. This is such a good deal at Sam's, and we go through so, so, so many tissues. Um, I also got some cookies. Marion and Jackson both love those for snacks. Got some of these sun chips. I bought these fudge drizzled uh, popcorn for my mom. I'm going to bring those to her tomorrow. I got some of these for Jackson. He really loves those. And then their bagels were actually cheaper than Walmart. So I'm going to freeze them maybe. I don't know. Jackson loves a bagel in the morning for breakfast. Got Marion's coffee and his pub mix. So I'm going to feed these. Oh, let me show you what else I got um, at Target. So every Christmas Eve, we have the kids over and we decorate gingerbread houses. This year, we're going to do a little bit different. So I'll show you what I picked up at Target. So they have these already assembled houses and then they come with a bag of icing and then you just decorate them however you want. So I got one of those and then I picked up another one for Madison um, just because I was there and she needed one. So we're gonna do that on Christmas Eve, but I'll be I'll be vlogging that day. And then I went to Hobby Lobby and I just grabbed some of these. Everything is half off and it is going fast. So I got these uh, tags for Christmas. I got a paint pen for something I'm working on. And then I found this fabric. I took a little piece of the fabric for the chair in there. And like, look how perfectly this matches this chair. So I'm gonna recover my ottoman with this one. I'm going to spread it out and I'll show you what it looks like. So that's what it will look like. I'm actually going to just cut the corners and sew straight down four sides. And it's going to be way easier than the other one that I made. But it literally matches that perfectly. And it's a good shade with the couch. I think it looks good. So... I don't know if I'll do that this weekend, but I do have the fabrics. This is about $15, $10 a yard at Hobby Lobby, so it was a yard and a half. Y'all ready to go out? Do you need to go outside? Is that what you're telling me? Or do you want your food? Are y'all hungry? You want a bite? Okay, let's go. Let's go get a bite. And I got to put all these groceries away. Well, it is much later, um, 8.30. I put all the laundry, I mean, all, all the groceries away. It took me forever. Elf is on TV right now, so that's the screaming that you hear. Um, and then we just, like, made easy dinner. I was not wanting to cook a lot. And then I got the laundry going, but I hadn't picked up the camera, so I thought I would just check in. <laughs> it's um, 8.30. I'm just snuggling on the couch with the dogs, and I think I'm going to watch, like, a movie on Netflix or something. I don't know. I've got Elf on. Um, yeah, I'll carry this video over to tomorrow. We're going to go to church in the morning and then we might have to go out to my mom's and bury her cat because I don't know if I told you we hadn't hadn't buried it yet, but um, she's going to have Mary dig the hole and stuff. So I think we're going to do that tomorrow. And then I actually was telling you earlier about the Mexican soup I was going to make. I'm, I think I'm going to make that for dinner tomorrow. So I'll share that recipe in this video. And of course I have to just you know, keep the laundry going and do all the, the cleaning and stuff tomorrow. And I might make my, my, um, ottoman cover tomorrow. So maybe in this video, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how much I can get done. I'm already feeling the day filling up. So, uh, we'll see. So anyway, I'll probably just catch up with you in a second, which will be Sunday. All right. It is Sunday afternoon. 
it's almost three o'clock and whew, I have not stopped. We went to church and we got some lunch and then we went out to my mom's house and we had to dig the hole to bury her cat because obviously there's no way she could have done that. So Marion and Jackson or rock stars, they had to be, dig this huge hole and we kept actually going where she's buried other animals. So we had to keep moving over and they got it done and um, bur we buried Daisy. So um, they got all muddy and gross. I was like standing out with my mom trying to, you know, be there for her, but I felt like I'm covered in mud. I'm not, but thankfully we got rain the last couple days. And so the ground was really soft. So that was a huge answer to prayer. But we just walked in the door and I'm about to leave again in like five minutes because I'm actually going to look at a venue, a possible venue for a possible wedding in the future for, for Madison and Jordan. It's just in the works, just talking about things. Nothing is set, nothing is decided. He has not proposed, but we are going to look, we have an appointment to look at a venue. So that's exciting. And she asked me last minute if I would go with her. It was just gonna be the two of them. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna leave here in like five minutes. Maybe I'll take my camera get a few shots maybe I don't know we'll probably want to look back we'll probably I'll probably take videos and stuff so that we can you know make a decision but it's kind of exciting you know who knows who knows what the future holds but anyway that is where I'm headed now so and when I get home I've got to finish the laundry I still don't even haven't even I think I've got one in the wash one in the dryer one to go plus towels and sheets and stuff so So I did try to show you a few clips of it. It was absolute, absolutely beautiful. Lots to think about. Lots of, you know, exciting things coming. So um, obviously like, you know, weddings take a long time to plan and a long time to make decisions. So it was just kind of like a first step. So, but they were really, really gracious and said, yeah, you can take video, you can take pictures, whatever you want. So try to get a few to share with you, but who knows? Who knows what will happen? But right now, it is um, it's like after five o'clock. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed because I haven't done anything at home today. So I'm going to clean off my couches and use my little Dilemma pet roller. And I'm not gonna be able to sew that thing today, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. But I need to, uh, the laundry's still going. I need to get dinner made. So just do a little housekeeping. I think Madison and Jordan might come over. She said they might wanna come over and play games in a little while, so.
All right, so when I put my glasses on, it like pushes my hair out on the side, <laughs> but I can't read the recipe without my glasses. So we're gonna be making beefy Mexican rice soup. Doesn't that look so delicious? So good with like fresh cilantro. So um, I will link it down below, but it's, I'm gonna ground the, brown the ground beef with the onion and garlic, and then basically add everything else and let it, bring it to a boil and then cover it for a half hour, let it simmer because it's got rice that has to cook. And that is it. It sounds delicious. It's got all the, it says all the burrito flavors in a soup. So I have a ton of ingredients over here. I'm gonna have to get them chopped up and prepared, but everything is linked down below with the exact measurements. What a feeling. Now it's time for Christmas And Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes Are coming true, that's why I cheer I've been busy decking the halls I've been kind to big and small And now it's time to have a merry holiday What a feeling when it's time for Christmas All right, the soup is simmering for 25 minutes And then I'm gonna go ahead and make I have one more pouch of the Krusty's pumpkin spice I'm just gonna make a loaf of pumpkin bread And then I have like ice cream and hot cocoa we have plenty of stuff to snack on, so Madison and Jordan, I think they're gonna come over in about a half an hour. Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here. I guess that spring and summer, they're all fine. But I've been waiting for the season that's mine, so let it come. You let it come Snowflakes fall, I can hear the sleigh bells call They're saying it's time to have a merry holiday What a feeling, now it's time for Christmas And Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes are coming true that's why i cheer i've been busy decking the hall all right i tasted it it's really good i think i'm gonna add a little bit more salt i used um the beef broth i used didn't have any salt in it so i'm gonna add a little bit more you could add cumin i don't know any kind of spices you want it just called for taco seasoning but you could add whatever spices you want you can also add sour cream fresh cilantro fresh onions I just added cheese on top of mine. I love the rice in it. It just makes it, it's almost like a chili, but with the rice, it just adds, makes it more hearty. And there's the pumpkin muffins fresh out of the oven. Put some maple, real maple syrup and butter on those. Oh my gosh, these are the best. You know I love my crusties muffins. Okay, my friends, um, I'm gonna go ahead and eat dinner and then Madison and Jordan will be here and we're gonna either play some games or watch a movie, just hang out. So I'm gonna end the vlog, but like I said at the beginning of this video, thank you so so much for all your kindness and um just all your sweet words and your encouragement thank you for being patient with me while i am trying to like get back into filming vlogmas will be coming up really soon i'll let you know my plans for that i just have to figure everything out but i am going to be doing some form of vlogmas so make sure that you come back for that but I love you all so much. I appreciate you for being here, for your patience, for always coming back. And I'm praying for you always, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.